What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the spotlight attachment for the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise. Now, in my time using the three attachments that come with this drone, I've got to say that the spotlight has proved to be my favorite just because I feel like it has the most use case scenarios out of all three of the attachments. Now, I really wish I could have recorded my first impressions when turning that spotlight on at night because it was priceless. I really am impressed with how bright it gets. Also, I'm impressed with how light the attachment is. It comes in at a mere 58 grams which doesn't take off too much flight time but here are some of the other specs off of DJI's website for that spotlight if you're interested all of this is great but what I really want to do is get outside and show you how this attachment is used so the process to attach the spotlight to the Mavic 2 Enterprise is the same as the speaker and the light beacon. It can be done really quickly, which is nice for operators that are in a hurry and need to swap out attachments quickly. On top of the drone is a small mounting area that has one micro USB port to deliver power to the spotlight itself, and then two smaller screws lock it into place on the outside. This ensures that it won't go anywhere even when the drone is flying at its top speed. Once connected, the home screen of the DJI Pilot app will recognize that the spotlight has been attached, and when we head into the live view coming from the drone, there's a small button in the top left corner marked with the spotlight that is now visible. Tapping this will quickly activate the spotlight, but to get access to some of the settings more in depth, we'll have to tap on the three dots in the top right corner, and then select the spotlight settings from the left side. From here, we can turn the spotlight on and off, as well as select the level of brightness from 1 to 100%. Now let's test out this light. Here you can see, well, nothing Really, it's just totally pitch black, but once I turn on the spotlight of the Mavic 2 Enterprise, you'll see just how bright these lights are and just how much ground that they can cover. Now, this is only on 1% brightness, but if we slowly raise the brightness up to the full 100%, you can see just how powerful this light is. To set up this shot, I have my drone hovering out over my golf course about 10 feet high, and where I'm standing with my camera is up on top of my deck. Now, I just want to point out that the results look a lot more impressive in person, and it's kind of hard to capture through my camera. Anyway, I am shining this light out into basically an open field, but if I spin the drone around to illuminate these trees, you can see just how much this spotlight can light up. I'd say that I'm about 50-ish feet away from the trees, but I can see them standing over there perfectly. When we switch over to the camera view, it might be a little bit more tricky to see what we are looking at, although I would credit this to the tree branches being way too thin. If we lit up a larger object, like say a house with the spotlight, you can basically see the entirety of the backside in great detail. Even viewing it from down here on the ground, all I can say is that I am incredibly impressed with how much light this spotlight puts out. Before I go any further, I feel like I've got to mention this. Use precaution when using these lights. Even at 1%, looking directly at them can really hurt your eyes. And when we go all the way up to 100%, it'll definitely do some damage. Just be cautious of when you have this turned on. Something I thought would be good to slide in here before we get back to talking about the light itself is the agility and the top speed of the Mavic 2 Enterprise when using this attachment mounted on top. Now, as you can see, it's pretty large considering how big the Mavic 2 is, and you'd think that it would kind of act as a big sail as you're flying forward, but I am pleased to report that when I was outside whipping this drone back and forth, it still performed perfectly, achieving a top speed of 45 miles per hour. It handled nicely as well, coming to a fast break when necessary, and it handles turning nicely. Now, earlier in this video, I stated that this is my favorite attachment, and I've got two reasons to back that up. So first of all, I think it's the most powerful, and second of all, I think it has the most use case scenario. So with that, I've come up with a couple of examples that the spotlight can be used on the Mavic 2 Enterprise efficiently. The first one is nighttime inspections. I've never found myself needing to do like a nighttime roof inspection, but sometimes if photos or videos are needed immediately or if something on a roof, such as like an AC unit has broken, you can use the spotlight to easily capture well-lit photos and videos, even in areas that are pitch black. One of the largest ways that DJI is trying to market this drone is through search and rescue, and I understand that thermal is necessary when trying to find humans or pets, say, in the woods, through some trees, but a spotlight could prove to be very helpful for finding things at night that don't give off heat. An example could be a stolen car, small buildings, or even a piece of lost equipment. The spotlight, when pointed directly down, can give searchers a good idea at what they're looking at on the ground as it produces a great amount of light. It doesn't matter if you're looking through the camera or if you're flying it above people who are actively looking and giving them some extra light. 
This next option might kind of be a stretch, but this light can be greatly helpful for doing yard work at nighttime. Sometimes my dad and I burn scraps from the yard at night, and I've always thought that it'd be a great idea to put the drone in the air and shine the light downwards to help us see what we are doing. Another scenario where the spotlight could be beneficial is when loading the bed of your pickup truck at nighttime. So imagine putting the drone up, say, 10, 15 feet, angling that spotlight downwards and being able to flood the entire area with light. You'd be able to load material into your pickup truck bed faster easier and just overall more efficiently. Now, I think what I'm really trying to get at here is if you need a portable light, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Spotlight Attachment really does have you covered. It's very versatile. You can put it anywhere up in the air and shine it any way you want. There's a few other scenarios I can think of for using the Spotlight Attachment, say road work or maybe signaling if you need help. I mean, just above all, if you need a really bright light, the Spotlight has got you covered. Now, I have one gripe with the spotlight, and that is the angling of the beam of light. You have to angle it manually with your hand, which can be done mid-flight if you're careful, but there is no way to do this if you're up in the air. You have to bring it down to re-angle it and then go back off with the drone. I feel like this could be fixed with a small motor on the device, but that could then increase the weight and then potentially increase the price. So, while I think that this is a great first-generation version of the mountable accessories, I would love to see a new version come with some more flexibility. So, guys, that about wraps up this video covering the Mavic 2 Enterprise Spotlight Attachment. I've got to say, this thing is a little beast. It puts out a serious amount of light, and just imagine how much light would be put out if they snuck another LED on here, maybe in the future. That could be really cool. Anyway, guys, keep it locked here on my channel over the next couple of days as I've got a ton of Mavic 2 Enterprise videos ready to upload for you all, especially ones going over the other attachments because I think that is the coolest thing about this drone and something that's going to prove to be the most beneficial. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.